there has been a lot of studies see i think you all need to remember pacemaker is after all a foreign body foreign body if you try to implant for a patient inside the body what is going to happen if there is a foreign body it will be abnormal and for those people it is even more abnormal you know that you are depending upon those uh, pacemakers actually so that is why i'm sure uh, uh, yeah pacemakers will be getting implanted at most of your centers but no one is not so much aware what are the side effects with that so there has been several studies as well way back in 1988 in this publication what had been shown was they tried to study almost 30 patients 30 hospitals and almost nearly 400 patients and in that they was they thought they saw 20 percent of these implants were not medically necessary and moreover the 36 percent of those implants were questionable because of inadequate not even not only documentation but also diagnostic evaluation and that's why even during those days almost 50 percent were clinically not justified later on in around 99 when they try to see for all those patients, especially for the patients above more than 65, 80%, we all know that above 65 years old, almost 80%, almost all those pacemakers are old people who receive that. And they are the ones who are not only risky, in fact, those arrhythmias can happen. And rather than putting pacemakers during that time, you can consider drug therapy and lifestyle changes rather than just implanting up a pacemaker or even an ICD as well. This is another landmark study in the American Medical Association which reviewed 1.1 million patients having ICDs and in that they found almost one fourth of those patients there was no medical evidence. Similarly, there has been a lot of so what now what what happens actually after you have put up a pacemaker what are the side effects actually so what will happen is these pacemakers they tend to succumb to sudden heart failure at the rate of almost two percent per year and the incidence of death rate around 10 percent at five years and this is not what i am seeing this is the con conclusion report from all these multiple studies and the rates are even higher for among those patients who have more severe heart disease okay so if someone is already having another cardiac disease as well you are trying to put up a pacemaker the the mortality rate is very very high and then of course it has been shown that the complication or the need um, for by the physician it may depend further and a lot of times what happens is you all will be knowing if it is not needed you know lead extraction okay one question to at how many of your centers among you all pacemaker implantation is done but lead extraction is not done at their center I know this thing even on a global basis as well lead extraction is done at very few centers so what they try to do is most of the times once the lead is implanted they will just leave those leads and then yes if you leave those leads they will be becoming infected or yeah or they try to insert the, those new leads somewhere else and that's why even if those five percent of those leads which are left they tend to become venous occlusion and in fact infection as well and as i was telling you so if you have implanted for someone uh, you know there are a lot of changes which was happening for those people like they 